What's up? This is Spike Lee. Peace. You're watching Black Tree TV. Please look at this so you get the details on my Kickstarter campaign. Go to kickstarter.com. Let's build history. Let's make history. And please help me with as little as a $5 pledge. Help me get this film made. Thank you. And thank you again for all support you give me. Support and love you give me over the years. Well, I'm, I'm a teacher, a professor at NYU. The Graduate Film School is a three-year program. And I teach the third-year students my classes, a master class in directing. And many of my students were using Kickstarter to find the completion funds for their film. Those for the small amounts, 5,000, I mean small to me, as far as doing feature work, but small amounts, 5,000, 10,000, 15,000. So I never checked for it, checked for it. Then my TA, brother named Julius Pryor III, hit me to what happened with Veronica Mars, Veronica Mars, it was a canceled TV show, had been off the air seven years. And they went to Kickstarter and raised five and a half million dollars. Zach Braff of Scrubs fame, another show that was canceled with my man Donald Faison playing his boy. He raised three and a half million dollars on Kickstarter. So then that's when I had to change my thinking about Kickstarter and that this might be a viable way, this crowdfunding, to get a, a small film made. In fact, the truth is that this film that we're trying to get done, I was really thinking about doing it when the whole thing with Old Boy happened because Old Boy just came out of nowhere. I've never ever said anything about Trayvon Martin. I mean, if you go to kickstarter.com and you see the Spike Lee page, I said it and it reads that this is a, a film about, a film about people addicted to blood, mm. but not vampires. When this is not Black Twilight, when I bring him back, bring him back, Blackula. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a psychological, bloody thriller. So it's it's written. It's written. Right? It's written. I've said it. So I don't know how Trayvon Martin, rest his soul, gets got in that in that conversation as far as me being on. It is, it's, 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 yeah. it's bananas. Yeah. <laughs> we make it very affordable for everybody to participate because as you go to Obama campaign, you those five dollars and ten dollar contributions that made the difference, and that's where we lack, that's where we are lacking now. These five dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars, fifteen dollars. Pledges. There's a mindset that I feel that people think that, oh shit, you know, my five, my five dollars is, is bullshit. Five dollars ain't gonna help nobody. It ain't gonna help Spike. My tenors ain't gonna help, but that, but that, that's that's not true, and so that's why I hope you guys can help change that narrative, change that 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 fallacy. Every dollar helps. I'll give you an example. My first film, she's gonna have it cost one hundred seventy-five thousand dollars, but we never ever ever had that money on one lump sum. We shot in 12 days, 
two six-day weeks in the summer, the hot summer of 1985. And you know, when it's hot, you drink a lot of beverages. We saved every empty soda can and bottle for that nickel deposit. And those nickels added up to two more rolls of film, which we didn't have. So, again, there's this, people have all type of misconceptions. Like, I just came out of film school right away and made sure that happened. No, there was a, it took three years. I finished NYU 82, we didn't shoot. She's gonna happen to 85. So I just, just it, it did not happen overnight. We saved the empty soda cans and bottles for the nickel deposit to buy two, two extra rolls of food.